While Colcannon seems to be associated with St. Patrick's Day, I love the combination of potatoes, cabbage, onion, and bacon all through the cooler months of fall and winter, says Diane F., the All Recipes member who submitted this recipe. Adding, I attend an annual St. Patty's Day party, and this is the dish I'm always asked to bring, and I'm happy to say that the bowl comes home empty every time. To begin Diane's Colcannon, place two and a half pounds of peeled cubed potatoes in a saucepan and pour enough water to completely cover them. Bring the water up to a boil, then lower the heat and cook the potatoes until they're tender, about 15 to 20 minutes. While the potatoes are cooking, let's cook the bacon. Place four slices of bacon in a large deep skillet. Cook the bacon over medium high heat until evenly brown about five minutes per side. Remove the bacon from the skillet and drain it on paper towels. Reserve the drippings. When it's cool enough to handle, crumble the bacon and set it aside. Now, we'll add half a head of small cabbage that you've chopped to the skillet over medium heat. Along with one large chopped onion. Cook the vegetables until they're soft and translucent. If you're in a hurry, cover the skillet with a lid to help the vegetables cook more quickly. The potatoes should be tender now, so we'll drain them and return to the saucepan. Then add half a cup of milk to the potatoes and salt and pepper to taste. Mash the potatoes until they're mashed to your desired consistency. Add the crumbled bacon. Along with the cabbage and onions. Fold everything together. Transfer the coal cannon to a large serving bowl. Make a well in the center. and pour in a quarter cup of melted butter. Serve it immediately. All Recipes member TJ says he is always trying to enhance mashed potatoes and comments, this one is terrific. I make a double batch and save the leftovers for use on shepherd's pie. Erin go brah!